Hello, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Walden Wall Inks. Today I'm going to talk about inking faces. So one of the things I use is, is a micron. Don't get distracted by Yoda. I use Yoda, I use a micron, I'll start inking eyes, lips, mouth, and then ears. And then the next thing I move on is to inking hands. But without further ado, we're going to start showing you how I ink hands. So here we go. So I'm starting with the Micron Statler Pigment Liner, size 0.1. There's a lot of different sizes, but this is the one I'm using to ink faces. So I'm going to start inking the nostrils first. Ink both nostrils and then the side of the nose. And then I move on to the eyes. Now when I'm inking the eyes, I will ink the top of the eyelid a little bit thicker because usually uh, you want some uh, depth into that. So if there was light hitting from the top of the head, there would be a little shadow underneath the top eyelid. And then now I'm making the uh, lips. So as you can see, when I was inking this page, I tilted the page 45 degree clockwise when I'm making the lips. Uh, the reason for that is because my hand moves better going away from my body. So inking line from bottom to top. So when you see me making the lips, you can see me tilting the page just like when I'm making uh, uh, this, the lips right here. Now pay attention to the top of the eyelid. It's going to be thicker than the bottom eyelid. And then the eyeball, the sheen, and then the pupil and iris. And then here's the eyebrows. Eyebrows, I don't just fill it in with black. I will usually uh, hatch in some of the lines to make it look like there's a uh, hair within the uh, eyebrows. Now moving on to this monster. This character, I could have just used a brush to just fill in the mouth, but since I had the uh, micron, my mess will just outline the whole uh, teeth. Now with the micron, as you see, uh, when I was inking the forehead, I kind of gave it some line weights. The line right in the middle of the forehead. You see there's a thick to thin, as well as some bloops on the end. And then some of the details on his head. And then I'm tapering with a micron. The micron usually has a, a flat deadline. So what I usually do is I'll go back uh, a few times over the same lines to give the microns uh, some kind of line weight. Again, when I make faces, I, I start with the nose first. Turn the boards uh, 45 degrees counterclockwise. Ink the mouth as well as the eyes. Top eyelid thicker, the sheen, the pupil, the iris, and then hatch in some of the uh, eyebrows. So this whole video took me, uh, inking, inking, all this inking all these faces took about maybe 30 minutes, but uh, this is a speed up video. So you can see, watch me do all this uh, in a much quicker time than sitting there and watching me ink the page in real time. The nose. This is Wolverine and then the eyes. So as you notice in some of my videos as well as this videos, I'm always rotating the page. Rotating because my hand can give a much smoother line going in a certain direction. So hatching is some of the lines on the faces. And the hair right over there. See, there we go again. Turning the page 45 degree counterclockwise and then inking the lips. So the Statler, what I'm using here is a 0 
There's also a 0 0.05, which gives a much thinner line. Uh, I could use that also. Uh, sometimes I'll save that one for faces that are really small, when I need a really thin line. If, if the faces on the page are much larger, I would use a much thicker size. 0 0.3, 0 0.5. But this one is the point one. Now look, look what I'm doing here. The top of the eyelid, I'm adding an extra line to give it uh, a much thicker line. So it casts the shadow inside the eye socket. Some of the tech on his uh, helmet. I don't know, is, is that a helmet or is that his face? I just say it's a helmet. So more uh, hatch line work. This can be done with a brush also, but since I have the micron in hand, sometimes it's easier to just do all this with the micron and then go back with the uh, brush later. And then Cyclops. Start with the nose, then the mouth. There's no order of how anyone should do this, but this is how I do it. I usually, majority of the times, I would do the nose first and then the mouth and then move on the eyes. In this case, Cyclops, he's wearing a visor. So I'm going to ink all the, uh, the blast, some of the blast marks, like right here. Also uh, add in some line waste. I'll go thicker and then thinner. And because Cyclops is wearing uh, a visor, I would pull out my uh, template. Templates, and then I will use a repeatograph uh, technical pen. And then when I'm inking with the repeatographs, I will still need to think about line waste. Don't just uh, ink a line and then let it be a dead line, but concentrate on making some of the lines thicker so there's life in, in your uh, ink work. So what I do is I'll eat the line and then I'll go back and then I'll go back over the same line to give it some depth. Like on the side of the visor right here, you'll see me going back again, right? Like right there. I will make that line a little bit thicker just to give it some kind of depth, some line weight. And that's how I uh, add line weights to uh, using a uh, repeater graph uh, tech pins. Uh, with a template so here's all the faces so again in real time this took around 30 minutes but you can pause the video and see some of the details on the faces there you go cyclops this episode of how I ink with microns and how I ink faces and until next time if you like hit like any questions type it down and don't forget to subscribe until next time be good